Hello and welcome to 5 MBA Excel class. Today we will going to talk about a very very interesting topic that is how to automate VLOOKUP or filter with Power Query. So basically that came into my mind when I see the post from this particular person Pankaj Kumawat. So he was asking that he has two tables, right? One is the input table where he has the months and sales column and in the output table he wants to show that uh, based on certain months he wanted to look up some values from the input table, right? And the value should be in the descending order that means bottom to top as you can see in the picture so basically there are two problems one is lookup the data based on lookup value that is the month and the result should be displayed in the result table in descending order bottom to top as per the lookup table right so I tried to solve this out with Power Query and here we have the input table and this would be our final outcome. So I will use this filter table to bring out this result from this input table. So let's sort it out. These two table are formatted as Microsoft Excel table. So this one is filter table and this one is the input table. So first of all, what I will do, I will put this input table to Power Query. So to bring it to Power Query, I will go to data and from table slash range, I will go to Power Query. So here is my data months and sales so what I will do I will add a index column so that I can track the sequence of the data I have in my input table so from add column I will put the index column here and now the first thing I will do is I will put the months into ascending order and I will put this to descending order right so that whenever uh, I filter the data I get the bottom of data at the top for particular month right okay cool now I will put this into connection only right by selecting only create connection okay so here is my input table I will do the same with the filter table from table slash range Okay, now I have my filter table query here as well. So what I will do is I will create a new result query so that I can use this filter, right? By merging queries, right? So I'll go to merge queries from home and select merge queries as new, right? So I will look up the filter column into the input table. So I will look up this value in this column. So you can see that there are already one match, right? And I'm using the left outer join. That means uh, I will get all the data from the first table and 
get the matching data from the second table that means the input table right so I press OK and I get the table here right if I press on the two-sided arrow I will get the whole list of column available on that table so I only need the sales and index column and I don't want to set the column name as prefix so I will uncheck this and press OK now you can see that it has brought up the data but the sequence is not workable to me right so again I will press this uh, button here and put this to descending order right now it seems quite okay to me all right so what I will do is I will press close and load select close and load 2 but before this let me name this this should be my result table query right okay now I will go to home close and load close and load 2 and uh, I will again select only create connection because it's selected here so I cannot put this as a table in any uh, in the existing worksheet so I'll select OK and later on I'll right click on it and select load 2 and select table and select existing worksheet let me put the data here right so I'll press enter ok you can see the data like this but let me check this is not the right result I'm getting here right so what's the problem so we have to remind that power query is highly case sensitive and uh, the data I put here you can see for January are this right so let me just highlight this these are in uh, different cases so I get the data correctly according to the filter but this is in uh, another case right so I didn't get the result here so uh, I need to again amend the queries to get everything right so what I will do is I will go to input table by clicking on it and what I will do is I will go to transform and select format from here and select capitalize each word all right and again I will go to filter table and do the same here as well capitalize each word right again I will go to my result table now you can see the three data are available and they are in the right order as well so I will simply go to home and select close close and load and just press a little refresh here and you can see the data matches here right so isn't that quite cool that how can you automate the data so let me check with some more data right so I have a more data available for March now uh, I will put March here and again right click and refresh I'm getting the data of March in descending order right one last thing I don't have the index column here in the result right so I need to remove this right so again I will go to result table and 
I will simply remove the index column from here so it will not impact the result obviously so let me just close and load and it's working uh, let me just put January again here and let me test press refresh and you can see this is completely fine and working right and it's according to the result so if you like the video please hit on the like button and obviously subscribe to my youtube channel and press on the bell icon so that you get updates on my new videos thank you so much take care bye